I'm going to make a release mechanism out of a 9 gram servo for a bomb drop. First thing is remove the labels. This is about 150 grit sandpaper and rough the servo surface up so that the hot glue will stick to it. Take some rubbing alcohol and a clean cloth and clean the surface off to get any uh, oil off of it. Then I have a tongue depressor that I'll use as a base. I'll cut the end of this tongue depressor off and make sure it's all square. Some advice on these Dremel cutoff wheels. Go to Harbor Freight and buy these. They're diamond coated cutoff wheels. These are metal and they do not break. I'm still on the original uh, disc from probably about two years ago. These things just do not wear out. You're going to have to have your tongue depressor squared off. Size it up on your servo. A hot glue gun and your piece of uh, tongue depressor that you cut off. Apply ample amount of hot glue to it. And place it on your servo. Get it into position at the very top. Put as much force as you can on here till the glue cools. You want a good bond to your servo. Now I'll take some uh, 16 gauge wire. I need about two inches. Cut it off. You tweak your piece of wire a little bit, straighten it out. Put it in your Dubro bender. If you don't have a Dubro Easy Bender, I suggest you get one. These things are fabulous. It makes bending wire so much easier. I'm going to put about five millimeters on the bend. I'll show you why later. Bend the wire at a 90 degree. Control horn onto the servo. Doesn't have to be centered for right now. Take a 1 16th inch drill bit and lay it onto the piece of wood. And whatever hole lines up right here, it's the one that you need to bore out so that your wire will fit in there. You can see that this is the hole that I bored out. I'm also going to go one hole up and also bore that out. I have a wood burning tool with a tip about the same size as the wire and I'm going to take the control horn and enlarge this hole So the reason I wanted this hole to be larger is so that this wire can move up and down from the servo because when the servo control horn rotates, it will push this down up against the servo, which I don't want. So providing a little slot for this to move freely back and forth will still allow the uh, con control horn to move without binding the wire. The reason I wanted five millimeters on this is so that it didn't slip through this hole. So mark your piece of wire as close to the top as you can get it. Glue a little cocktail straw or a piece of copper tubing in there. Take your hot glue gun and run a bead of uh, hot glue along the 
the side of the straw and tack this in there. After your hot glue dries, then you can take some cutters and just cut the end of the straw off. And take your servo arm and your piece of wire off. Then use a Dremel to cut the straw and make a little recess in the wood. This will be where the ring that holds whatever you want to drop in. straw and a little recess right there where a ring can go in there and then the wire will go in there and hold it and then we have to cut the wire to length the wire all the way up against the straw and then take a pen and mark right here where the edge of the opening is then take your server arm off and cut about two to three millimeters down from where you marked now you can put your wire back in there put the control arm back on there Before you center your servo by hooking it up to your receiver, take your control horn off because you don't want to push this in and rip all this off. I have this on my gear switch. Then go into your servo setup and adjust your throws. You may have to bend your wire up a little bit to make it work. So I have my gear travel set at 10% and 21% and it barely moves it. So I need to increase the throws until you see this gap here open up without overloading the servo. So I have my gear servo throws at 10% one way, 60% the other way. And it's just enough throw that it's not overloading the servo and it's pulling the uh, wire out of the way release anything if I ever find any tubing that is tighter a tighter fit for the 16 gauge wire that will work better because if it is not adjusted correctly it can get caught on this edge right here so I made this little ring out of uh, wire wrapped it around one of my Dubro benders um, and put some servo extension wire on here just for just as a, an example this could be a rubber band this could be uh, a line to like a, a parachute or something like that you open your servo up put your ring in get the switch put the switch on your radio and it drops the reason I'm making this release mechanism is to mount it on my quadcopter for an upcoming project that I'm working on and uh, I'll have that posted in a few weeks.